In this video, we will download and install Java SE on our machines so that we have JShell accessible. You need to have uh, JDK 9 or above in order to access JShell because JShell was introduced in JDK 9. So uh, there are a couple of ways in which you can install Java. Um, one way is to go to oracle.com and uh, find your way to the Java download. But I've usually found this website to be a bit of a mess uh, when, when it comes to downloading Java, finding the installer takes a little bit of time. Uh, and I think in this particular case, uh, you, as of me recording this video today, there is a link to download Java C10, but this may not be available uh, when you're watching it. You're gonna have to go to the menu and navigate. Uh, the easier way that I've found is to just use your favorite search engine and type JDK10, and you will be able to get to the downloads location where JDK is available for download. Um, I here accept the license agreement and download the installer for your operating system. And then you need to run it. This is pretty much like any other installer for your OS. Run the installer and make sure uh, you install Java to a certain location on your hard drive. I prefer uh, home directory slash Java or in case of Windows C colon slash Java so that it doesn't have a huge path. Once you've installed it, you can navigate to that location and run JShell. There's another thing that you normally do uh, when you install Java is make sure that the directory where you have all the programs uh, are in the path so that you can use these commands every, anywhere uh, in your uh, prompt so that you don't have to go to that particular directory. So something like Java C or Java or even JShell for that matter, they are usually helpful if they're in the path so that they're accessible anywhere in your uh, in your path. So I am gonna skip that because we're just gonna be running JShell for now. So I'm gonna change directory um, to C colon slash Java, which is where I've installed it. Here I see there is JDK and JRE. I'm gonna to switch to JDK and uh, go to the bin directory. And here is where you're gonna see all the executables for us to use, including JShell. So we're going to be calling dot slash jshell, and we are in the jshell prompt. As you can see, you get an introductory message, version 10.0.2, and you're at jshell prompt. Now here is where you can enter arbitrary Java statements, Java syntax, and have it evaluated. I'm going to do a very basic test of arithmetic for jshell to make sure it can do one plus one fine and we get the result as two, so it's passed the test. All right, so now in the next tutorial, we're gonna get into what are the things we can do with JShell. Uh, but first, I wanna teach you how to exit the shell so that you can go back to the prompt. The way to exit is by using forward slash and then typing exit, and then you're out of the shell. There's an important thing for you to remember. There are two types of commands that you can run in JShell. The one is the Java syntax, which is what we did over here, one plus one, which you can just enter as is. And then there are a second type of commands, which are JShell specific commands. What you did here, exit, was a JShell specific command. And JShell commands start with the forward slash. As you can see here, for an introduction type, slash help. So this is the JShell specific command, which is what the slash indicates over here, right? So there are two types of commands. And when we learn all these commands that we can use in JShell, you can, in your mind, classify it as either a Java command or a Java expression versus a JShell specific expression. And the hint is when you have something like a slash, it is a JShell command.